The Whitaker neighborhood. For the neighborhood, the Whitaker neighborhood. As the Whitaker neighborhood is scared. Um, I've been in and around Eugene and surrounding communities for 20 years now. I lived in the Whitaker this time for about two years. 97. About 13 years. 22 years. Tonight, we begin a special in-depth look at one of the most famous neighborhoods in the city of Eugene. It's the oldest neighborhood in the city, one that's gone through several transformations. I grew up in River Road area, just uh, north of the Whitaker, and we used to ride our Stingray bicycles as kids up to the top of Skinner's Butte. My mom would pick us a sack lunch, and she would let us go ride down River Road so we could work go ride to Skinner's Butte, right? And she'd always tell us as we hit Van Buren, don't go cross those tracks, man. That's that nasty neighborhood, you know, which is the Whitaker neighborhood. And so as kids, we always knew the Whitaker neighborhood is this area where you didn't want to be. And so we'd ride past, you know, the Whitaker neighborhood down first and ride our scenery's down Skinner's Butte Park. When the walls of the city come tumbling down in those this man scramble for higher ground, chasing their dollar bills in the tailored monkey suits. Well, you can see them change at the tick of a clock when they finally catch a view of life in another block. It's true. Every window's got a different view. When you cannot close your eyes, there'll come a time when you might, you just might finally realize. Parking, you know, it, it was just since, since the, you know, I believe it's because all the breweries came in and stuff. Back then, you you, you didn't have to drive around looking for a place to park. It, it, it's, it's shoulder to shoulder. And so now that we have semi-trucks unloading things and a lot of people parking on that street, there's no bike lanes, I feel like it's become more dangerous for pedestrians and cyclists, really. Like, Blair and Van Buren is not a friendly route. And then I remember my friend telling me that Nikos told him that, you know what, man, we're just going to be this small brewery and we aren't going to distribute more than 100 miles from this area right here. <laughs> you know, and, you know, of course, things have dramatically changed and they're all over the West and Walmarts and everything else. So, you know, they came in with a, you know, again, a grand plan that we're all unaware of. But us fools who live in the neighborhood have to live with their grand plan. Because of all the, the uh, breweries and the, the distilleries and the restaurant, I just have wiped alcohol out of my diet period, um, strictly for spite. I see the Whitaker not even being called the Whitaker anymore within the next 10 to 15 years. I think it will start to be called the Brewery District. Have you not noticed? They built a fucking warehouse over everything we called home. 